it was a continuation of the enforcement. And uh, we had an, an application before the court for summary judgment. Basically, one point we were asking, which is that the court declare that the shares that were uh, f half of the share holding in two companies, uh, the two companies are the two companies um, uh, that um, were initial that hold the lands. And we said those shares belong to Mr. Palman, although they're in another person's name, Juan Pedro Ack. And the court actually agreed with us and gave the summary judgment today and said yes. Um, in a sense, it was like almost like we kind of came to that point both sides because it was clear it was an obvious admission by the attorney uh, on the other side who said in his pleadings, well, the shares actually belong to Mr. Palman. They're being held by Mr. Ark for Mr. Palman. And the court said, well, if that is the case, it's almost like an inevit inevitable uh, um, point that they belong to him. And so I, in a sense, I'm constrained. I would have to probably make the order. And we came to that decision, and so the court made the order. So how does this affect the ongoing dispute, which has various dimensions, criminal, civil, and on the ground in terms of access to property? Well, it affects it from the point of view that uh, there has been this um, uh, considerable uh, litigation that at the end awarded this uh, large amount of money for exemplary damages, which in a sense reflects the conduct of the other side, Mr. Palman, in terms of how he dealt with these matters, and the court took it very seriously. But the enforcement cannot be done because there was nothing, no asset that we could find. So only one share in each of the companies, and uh, Sabun Green is one of the companies, and um, the other one, um, I don't remember the name right now, but the point was that those particular um, one share each was not enough, so we had to go and find a way to establish that the shareholding held by somebody else was the property of Palman. And so it puts him in a position where now the, the claimant, Mr. Modiri, that he may be able to collect his money because he has made one step forward in establishing the ownership of the shares.